guys welcome to web designing html css course my name is Vaseem and today we are going to start our lecture number 13 before starting the lecture i will request to everyone please subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites very easily now let's start this is our website that uh, we have created the structure of this website uh, in the html css with the help of div so you can see this is a logo and add banner area this is menu area new sticker slider area in the same way this is the content area and this is the footer area so this is the website that uh, i have created this website in the table tag in my last lecture series web designing lecture series so uh, we are creating the structure of this website with the help of html and css with div now uh, you can see this is logo and uh, banner area like this you can see logo and banner area menu new sticker you can see menu new sticker slider and this is the content area and the footer area so when we see in the content you can see there are two sidebars one is on the right side and second one is on the left side so these two sidebars are here but in our div structure there is no sidebar we have created now today uh, I'm going to create these two sidebars that how we can create the sidebars very easily in an efficient way. So these are our two websites. One is uh, index.html and the second one is style.css. So this these are the divs that we have created here. You can see this is logo, banner, menu, news div. This is slider div and this is content div. And this one is the footer div now we have to write the two divs in the content area so this is my content div what I will do is this is the font tag I will remove this font tag I have told you this thing before that when we are going to do the work professionally in the websites like we are going to make more changes then I will remove this font tag now what I will do is this is my div content div because I have to create the two sides bar in the content div so I will write here two divs so basically today we are going to learn about that how we can create the div inside the div right let me tell you this thing again this is my content div opening div tag and closing div tag inside I have created these two divs like I want the sidebar on the right side and on the left side like this the sidebar on left and the sidebar on the right now for this purpose I have right here two divs in which I will write here left sidebar and on the second I will write here right sidebar right now what I will do is my sidebar divs are created now here I will write a class I will put the name here left sidebar right and in the same way for the right side I will write here class and I will write here right sidebar I cannot see the class here because in the CSS I have not write these classes I am writing here just before that so I put the name left sidebar in the left sidebar name should be uh, similar to the div because whenever you are going to find the name in the CSS that should be simple to find for you and if any other developer is working on your HTML CSS then also that will be easy for those persons now the class name left sidebar and the right sidebar in the CSS after the content ID this is my content ID for the content area I will write here dot and the class name please be careful whenever you are going to write the name of the class I will copy the class name from here and I will paste it here just to avoid the errors right now what I will do is
right these two brackets for the CSS I have told you my total width of the content area is 990 so for left sidebar I will put here 200 pixel right I will write here width 200 pixel total width of the content area is 990 you can see total width is 990 so the 200 for the left side and 200 for the right side according to this you can increase the width it depends on your design right I will save this refresh my browser you can see the left sidebar is showing here but if you will see the second div that is after the footer area how I can I can control this let me show you this thing also I will put a background color just to show you I will save this I refresh my browser here you can see the left sidebar is created but if I will put the same color on the right sidebar let me copy this and I will write here this one from index file just to avoid the error I will copy the class name and I will paste the class name here right this is just for avoiding the error if I will refresh this you will see the right sidebar is after the footer how I can put this sidebar in the content let me tell you this thing so for this purpose because I want the left sidebar on the left side there is one property which is called float left right if I need my div on the left side in the div this is my main div and if in the main div I need any div any content on the left side then I will put float left and if I need any div or anything on the right side then I will write here in this div right side bar because I need this div in in the right side so I will write here float right I will save this refresh my browser here you can see so in my content area left sidebar is created and the right sidebar is also created you can see right now you have understand that if you want anything on your in your left side or right side in the div accordingly you will put float left or right now I will also put here the logo and the banner like this so what you can do uh, to download any image you will right click and save image as wherever you want to save right and uh, in the same way you can also save the logo but uh, whenever you are going to make your own site you have to make your own logo right now for your understanding I have uh, download the logos and the banner you can see this one is the logo and this one is the banner so what I will do is this is my website so here I have created a one folder which is the name as images right I will open this and I will save the two pictures here logo and the banner now how I can put here let me tell you this thing it's very simple in the index file now you are able to create the divs in the inside right so in the same way this is my logo and add banner area you can see right so this is my div for the logo area now in the same way because on the left side I want logo and on the right side I want banner like this on the right left side I need logo right side the banner so what I will do I will make two divs because one div for the logo and the second one div is for the add banner in the same way I will write here 
this is the one div right and the second div this one is for the banner here what I will do because I want the logo and uh, the banner and we have the images so I will put image tag here image right so what I will do I will write here source if you do not understand that how you can put the image tag and what is the image tag you can review my last lectures the most important thing here as my as I'm in the website folder this is the folder that I have created and in this folder I have put this index and style.css there I have created images folder and these two images inside the images folder now the most important thing path what I will do I will write there images slash images slash logo.png right how I can do this one more thing let me tell you this thing whenever you can see the browse in the indentation you you will click on the desktop I have created the website folder and whenever you uh, the images are in this images folder you will click here you can see right this is closing image tag so I have right here images logo.png slash right the most important thing you have to write here the correct path if you are not going to write here the correct path you will not see your desired results when I will refresh this you can see logo is here let me remove the color in the CSS we have put the color here what I will do is I will remove this here you can see the logo is appearing here right in the same way I will copy this image tag just to save your time and here I will write here banner what is the name of the banner banner.jpg right so I will write here banner.jpg I will save this refresh my browser right because we have not put any CSS so just you can see the images now I will tell you that how you can put the CSS here I will write the class logo right because I have not created the class in the CSS so I cannot see this on the annotation and here I will what I will write here class banner I will save this in the style sheet after the logo area you can see this is the logo area I will write here dot logo and I will write here float left I will save this refresh my browser here you can see the logo is on the left side now right one more thing what we can do here we can put the width and height like if I want I can write here width like 280 pixels or uh, simple I can write 280 also I will save this you can see right in the same way this is the banner class I will write here dot banner right I will write here load because I need the banner on the right side so I will write here float right I will save this but because of the width the width is 
too wide so what I will do is I can simply write here the width for this one I will write here width like my total width is 990 you can see from the container 990 logo area 990 pixel so what I will do is 280 is for the logo so remaining I can write here 600 approximately I will save this here you can see now what I want I want these in the middle like this logo this is not on the top side you can see the space so for this purpose what you can do first of all you can increase the size for the logo also and uh, for the banner for this purpose what I will do is let me show you this thing also there is very interesting thing I have created the logo class now what I want I want the logo image in between this div like uh, I need the space from the top and bottom equal so for this purpose because this is the image and I want this image in the center so I will write here class dot logo and image in the CSS how I can do this let me tell you this thing also I will write here dot logo space image you can see here I have right here the width in the image tag so if I will write this class dot logo image then I do not need to write this width here I will remove this width and I will write this width in the style right so width I will write here 280 pixels I will save this refresh my browser here you can see let me show you some difference like if I will write here 200 you can see now what I, can, I will do is I will write here 280 and I want this in the center so I will put a padding padding on the image like I will write here 20 pixel so 20 pixel padding is from all over the world you can see 20 pixel padding is from everywhere now what I will do simply I will write here 20 pixel space 0 pixel this 20 is for top and bottom and this 0 is for left and right right I will save this refresh my browser here you can see the logo is on in between but the effect is not properly there because in the logo area main class first of all we will remove this text align right also I will remove this line height because we do not need line height we are showing there the images I will save this I will also remove the border Now I will show you the results here you can see it look like this I will increase the size of the logo and uh, in the same way I will put this space in this banner you can see You can write here like uh, 300 also here you can see the logo is trees now 20 I can write here 30 here you can see the logo is here now what I want I will copy this 
end after the banner because I need the banner image also here but the width I will put here 600 right I will save this from the index I will remove the width because here you can see I will write here banner image right I will save this let me show you this thing again this is my logo and logo image this is my banner and banner image you can see now the logo is on the left side and the banner is on the right side now in the next lecture I will tell you how you can make the menu news and slider right so this is for all today if you do not understand anything you can comment me I will answer your questions thank you so much if you like my video please thumbs up my video subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites Thank you so much.